Manhattan Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. A new cargo ship launched successfully this week with a several ton shipment on board. The fifth Japanese HTV lifted off on Wednesday and made it to orbit in just 15 minutes. The unmanned ship is packed with over four and a half tons of equipment and supplies for the station crew and is even carrying what will be the new ISS Kitchen. It's scheduled to arrive on August 24th, which you can watch live by checking out nasa.gov NTV. An onboard HTV is a new experiment that's going to try and unlock some of the great mysteries of the universe. The Calorimetric Electron Telescope, or Calais, will be searching for signatures of dark matter, one of the biggest question marks in modern astrophysics. The Japanese experiment will be exposed to space and measure high energy particles, hopefully providing clues to things like the origin of cosmic rays and the existence of dark matter, important steps in better understanding our solar system and beyond. We received a lot of questions asking if the Perseid meteor shower was affecting the station at all and if the astronauts could see it. Well, fortunately, the station isn't in any danger during such events and they did manage to get a quick glimpse. Most of the material in a meteor shower is made up of dust and very tiny particles that the station is protected from by tough shielding. The only extra precaution we take is no spacewalks when flying through as spacesuits are more vulnerable. And astronaut Scott Kelly only managed to get one shot of a meteor streaking through the Earth's atmosphere, but was quick to remind us that the view is spectacular no matter what. Make sure to keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground And for more station news, be sure to watch Space Station Live every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern on NASA TV. We'll see you next week.